Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Swain mid on the PBE because if you guys don't know, the first ranked split is ending and Raya is uh, adding a bunch of new things in the next split. So these are not out yet, but they will be out in like two to three weeks. Uh, so be ready for it. Um, lots of itemization changes and some rune changes. Uh, and then Corky got changed. So that's about it. I'll probably do a, a video on Corky. Uh, Corky package was removed, and he has true damage on his auto attacks now, which is how he used to be in the past. So they kind of just reverted him to how he used to be. <clears throat> uh, just going to be uh, queuing an auto attack in this guy. Why are we playing Swain? Uh, there is one new mage item in the game, and it is a burn item where when you land abilities on people, they start burning. Uh, kind of like a Lyandris, right? Except for that, rather than percent damage, it does base damage. It does like 20 per second, and it has an AP ratio on it, so it could be more than that. Um, let me just uh, last these minions. And it has another effect, which is uh, for every single person that is affected by your burn, right? Um, you get 4% AP. Wow. This guy really just invaded? That's crazy. What happened that made... Oh, no. I don't even think that I'm, like, very useful to even contest this, but I'll come over now. Because at least I'm level 3. But I don't even think that we can catch him. Yeah, he probably has Wind Wall here, so I can't even flash to follow. Okay, well, now he used it, but... Previously. Did camps get reset? Or does Nocturne just not do camps fast enough? Like, that's kind of wild, no? I don't know. I know what happened there. Anyways, uh, because Swain uh, can apply his ultimate very easily to like an entire team comp, I really want to see what will happen. <sighs> this flash auto attack. Wait for the wind wall to expire. Free kill for me. Um, because my ultimate makes everybody get sucked. I feel like he's one of the best users of this type of item because that just means that it's very easy to have that applied on multiple people. I don't really know what other champions would benefit uh, as well. Like maybe... Uh... Oh dang, if that landed we would have killed him, but it missed. I mean he is chunked though. Here. Sorry, brother. It's not really much that I can do for you. I have a TP though, so it's kind of okay. And you got two kills, so. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is buying a death cap eventually because I think that this item, right, it, it gives you AP, 4% AP per person burning. Um, Swain doesn't really build that many uh, AP items, so uh, like he doesn't have a high amount of AP. So would he really benefit from doing this without going a death cap? I don't think so. So I will be building a death cap eventually because I want to make it so... Uh, my death cap plus that item together will really increase my AP inside of team fights, so that's my idea. <clears throat> like, we'll go with the Blackfire Torch first, and then we'll go like Malignance, Lyandries, and then Decap. So we'll have three burn items, and then a big amount of AP, and then whatever else after that. Honestly, I think I might be able to just do a massive chunk with my ult, and then now I just can kill with a Q, maybe? Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, if he just backs away, that's fine. This is a very uncomfortable position for him. I'll leave because I'm being ganked. I dodge everything. <clears throat> I, I can't help you with the rest of it. I'm leaving. Good outplay, though, onto the uh, brand there to get a kill. Let's see if I can maybe shove this out quickly. I'm not going to rotate over to this. I'm just going to base here. Uh, there's some other things that have been added, like, for instance, component items. So this is a new component that also goes into Lyandries, and as you can see, it's not Fiendish Codex, it's called Faded Ashes, and it gives you AP, and it gives you damage over time. It gives you 7 damage per second for 3 seconds, so new item in the game, uh, that's a component that uh, goes into burn builds, so that's kind of interesting as well. I have the new Legend, because Legend Tenacity was removed, Lethal Tempo was removed. I have the new Legend, which I think is bugged, I don't know if it's working right now. But this is supposed to be giving me Ability Haste, and it says that it gives me 6, but as you can see my Ability Haste is only 10, which comes from Lost Chapter, so either it's visually bugged or it's just not working. But uh, Legend Tenacity has been replaced with Legend Haste, which gives you Ability Haste, so... Now you can get Ability Haste on Swain quite easily, beforehand because you take Conquer on Swain normally. It wasn't really the best. Oh man. Which way are you gonna run? This way? I need to wait for his shield to expire. When his shield expires, we can just Q him, get a free kill. It did 58 damage there. That's not that bad. I don't know. For a component, it only costs 900. How much money does uh, my item cost? My black fire torch. Oh. One auto attack on that. Okay, I have it. It costs 700. Doing pretty good. Three kills thus far. Torch is completed. Now, I can go for either Lyandry's next, or I can go for Malignant's next. They're both good in their own ways. I think I'll probably go Malignant's. I like having the lower ultimate CD, and they don't really have that tanky of a team comp, so... Nice, I hit him. Got a stack. So right now, when I uh, hit people, I'm going to be getting AP, but it's like not going to be that much. It's like six. <laughs> six per person. It's not bad. I mean, if, if I'm fighting like three people, I guess it will give a, a decent amount. Also, as you can see, it gives you uh, bonus AP for epic monsters and large monsters as well. So I guess if you're jungling and you're doing a camp and fighting somebody, or if you're fighting around Baron, you could technically get six stacks. What? That missed? Really? I'm surprised that he just wanted to immediately fight me there. I feel like it's kind of crazy to attempt that. It's just because Yasuo takes so long to kill Swain. When I pop my ultimate, my ultimate's still ticking uh, the entire time that he's ulting me. And I'm getting his shield and just healing, so I don't know. Maybe if you had Ignite, I would be like, yeah, it makes sense. But without Ignite, this feels not really uh, feasible to kill me. Unless I'm like low enough, you know. 
Let's at least get our stacks, even though I die there. I don't know if I could have flashed away and lived, really. Because I think that that guy might have ghosts, he just didn't use it yet. I think Lilia also is going to be building the, uh... The new item as well. The Blackfire. And Brand will probably build it as well. She also built Moby Boots. I don't know why she built this. This this is new Moby Boots. Moby Boots have been removed. And they're a new boot that is Quest Boots. Where you have to move a certain amount of uh, distance. And when you do, they upgrade and give you movement speed. But the thing is that because they did that... Uh, it's basically trying to make it so you don't just rush Moby Boots and you're fast during the early game. Because that was just stupid, so... Yeah. Dang, dude. All I have to do is 1Q, but that guy has ult? Really? I was really hoping that he was, uh... Not having it. Ow, that hurt bad, too. Varus ult did so much damage because his Blighted Quiver, look at that, that damage. He's not even AP Varus, he's just regular Varus, and it still was the biggest portion of his uh, overall damage. It's so nuts. Man, you got that? Oh well. Nice kill onto that guy. I slowed down that guy so we can like stall my team. One auto attack. <laughs> Don't even need to use my Q on that guy. Brand's kind of over committing. Looks like we might be able to get him. Nice. Some more kills for us. Malignance is super soon now. That doesn't give assists, you're nocturnal? No, it doesn't. <coughs> yeah, you can see Lilia built it. Lilia probably uh, uses the item pretty well. You know what? That... I remember back when I used to play Lilia mid, the only reason why I could do it is because I, I think that she has terrible mana issues if you go Lyandries first, because they changed Lyandries. In the past, it, was, it gave you mana, and it doesn't do that anymore. But now... There's a new item that gives you burn damage. So yeah, Lilia might be a viable mid again. Like, have a, a better build path to work with. Dude, I just want a base, please. You're both dead. Whatever. I guess I, I won't base. <clears throat> well, we are very, 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 very fed now because we just got a huge amount of gold. This has done 1,000 damage. Is that good? Does that seem good? I feel like it does. That's that's not bad. I don't think Malignants would have that high of damage compared to this one. Oh, oh man, we both died. So Lyandries will be next and then we'll have the triple burn. Then the decap. We'll just shove in mid. I don't really want to do anything until I get my ult, but I can look for poke. <clears throat> Ultimate is soon. What's kind of nice about Swain using this type of build as well is that we have Conquer, and Conquer is one of the only runes in the game that give you more AP. She's dead to the burn. 
Yeah, I had a feeling she was gonna die to the burn there. Dang, I didn't hit that guy though. Uh, I will shove out another wave. Why not? Yasuo built uh, one of the new crit items as well. Uh, it makes it so critical attacks now cause a bleed over time. That being said, I don't think it uh, like stacks the bleed, so honestly, it probably sucks. <laughs> you know what? You know what might not suck? I just had a crazy thought. What if you take the that on Jin? It has scaling. So because it has scaling on it, does that not sound insane? Because what if, if Jin has 1000 AD, does that mean one critical strike is going to bleed for 350 damage? That seems crazy. That seems kind of nuts. I, I want to try that now. Bleed on Jin. I don't think they added any more crit items besides that, though. It's just that. I want to try that. Uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be to, like tank an entire team they they have some pretty strong members like this brand for instance has pretty good items he has basically the same ones as me i'm just gonna ulti preemptively i mean that's fine we get a kill this guy's so dead he has no way out i even got ultied too Can't help this guy. Well, time for me to go. That guy's ghosting, so if if I uh, walked up and he saw me, he probably could just run me down. Thankfully, I'm alive. They nerfed ghosts, though. They uh, lowered the, I think, duration of it and maybe the CD. <coughs> Apparently, ghost is uh, being used by too many players, and Riot doesn't like that. It's broken. Pushing out. Bot lane's fighting. Let me just put down a W to help out my team. If it lands, then uh, I get an assist. Nice. I'm level 14. Holy. I'm so overleveled compared to this. Uh... Wait, why does this guy have a shield? Wait, they changed Bloodthirster? Bloodthirster gives you a shield again? <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that they... J Wait, Bloodthirster gives you no crit. What? That's insane. Bloodthirster gives you no crit. What? That's kind of crazy. Did not expect that change. Kind of want to go grab blue buff. Let me uh, just go over there real fast. There's no grouping going on ever, so I guess there's not really going to be much of a gameplay where I can uh, use my item to give myself a huge amount of AP, huh? That's okay, though. As you can see, even with like just the damage itself and not even the passive of giving yourself bonus AP, it still does a lot. 2,000 right now. I really don't want to use my ult, if that's okay. Holy, she's worth no money at all. I'm just going to flash, otherwise I die. The enemy team is just playing for bot lane. Like, they're not playing for bot lane, but, like, they, they have given up and just are sitting bot lane, I guess is what I should be saying. 
Huh. I still can't get over this Bloodthirster change. 80 attack damage. Uh, I really want to do a team fight. Might walk in a brand here. Maybe not. Goodbye, Mr. Varus. I was hoping to have more team fights because I want to see if Lyndries will outpace the damage of this or uh, it will stay like relatively the same because I think that Lyndries might be worse than this item. Like this Blackfire Torch because it does base damage early on it's going to be better and then as the game progresses I, I guess it gets worse because everybody becomes tankier so then Lyndries becomes better so I want to like see the damage difference. Uh, Wow, my ultimate's already coming back up. Maybe I can just go. Wow, that is such a low CD. Holy. I almost took that. So you're dead. Gotcha. 40 second ultimate CD. Not bad. The next item will be Death Cat, but obviously I'm I'm poor, so I can't afford it. Uh, I guess I'll just run bot rather than TP there. Nocturne looks dead. Oh, the Seraphine ult onto Caitlyn. Let's see if I can W this guy, or maybe maybe I can W them. Man, it would have been so cool if I was able to kill that guy there. You actually deal so much damage. I just need to land my E and you're dead, but I mean, I can't very easily. Phew, close. Almost died. Didn't though. Oh, I actually landed that too. 47 stacks of my flock is kind of crazy. <laughs> I have a bonus 560 HP right now. That's nuts. 30 second CD on my ult as well. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like Lyandris is catching up. Alright, death cap time. Increase my AP. There's still no fights, though, because enemy team never groups. There's still no fights for me to uh, showcase my AP skyrocketing. Very sad. The things that I want to try are... Okay, so we have the Jin thing that I want to try. I want to try... Uh, the new bonus HP turning into AD, right? And the attack damage increasing when you're low on set. That sounds like a pretty uh, good thing to attempt because it just benefits. Or even on Mundo as well for like a mass amount of AD even though you're tank. I know. I don't, th I don't think I'm missing anything. So if you guys have any ideas of like what to try with the new items that sounds fun, just let me know inside the comments because... I'm always down. If something sounds good, I'll I'll do it. Some people have really good ideas. <coughs> we can definitely kill this guy. In fact, I think he's just dead. Just one auto. Nice. And then I'll just base and buy my decap.
Let me uh, just TP behind these guys. Or not by my decap, but by another Needless. Okay, I can't buy a Needless because I accidentally shifted my thing into the wrong one. I almost died. Holy. I took so much damage there, but I have a lot of healing in my kit. Oh my god, I'm still burning. I almost died. <clears throat> I mean, he also has a, a heavy burn build, and then he has Shadow Flame, so... Oh, wow, Shadow Flame. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, maybe Shadow Flame would be good on my champion, too. This does honestly so much. Maybe it will get nerfed. Who knows? Because it feels like that damage is pretty significant. So Shadow Flame should be last item, then? Because then all of my uh, burns will crit when they get low for even more damage. That sounds pretty good. 666 ability power. If I hit somebody, I think it goes up by like... By like 20? Let's see how much it goes up by. 666 to what? Let me cue you, please. Oh my god, man. I like how Brand just walks in, uses all of his kit, and I just immediately die. Like, what is that? Oh, that's kind of insane, dude. He just burns every single ability, and I instantly pop. I didn't give, get to uh, see like how much AP I was getting. Seraphine, despite like kind of inting most of the game and really having a bad time, still scales so damn well. It's crazy how strong she is as a champion. My team's gonna go do dragon. Thank you. Thank you for not ending, honestly, because I really want to just go in versus like all of them and see what I can do. I think I want to go Zanya's. I, I think Zanya's is the most effective purchase for me to buy this game. Because I do die very quickly still <clears throat> the brand does so much damage to me six sixty a p so he has the i lost baron let me just shove out top side and then uh after shoving hopefully they send a bunch of people towards me I want them to send a bunch so I can just fight them all at the same time. It costs 1200 for this uh, Seekers to buy the Zhonya's active, so it's what I am kind of waiting on getting. Six sixty to six ninety. So that was, I think, two people. Not bad, dude. Seraphine's super dead. <clears throat> Maybe Nocturne's dead? All his ulti for the hell of it. My ultimate is a low CD anyways. Hello? I'm just thinking right now about, like, if you take uh, this item on Malzahar, would it even be good? Malzahar has damage over time, but he doesn't really have the best AoE damage, so that's why I feel like this item's just so weird. Because it really feels like it's only for heavy AoE champs. And some heavy AoE champs, they use their abilities, but then once it lands, you didn't get the AP until after, so, like... Oriana lands a five-man Oriana ultimate. I don't think you get the AP during the hit because you apply the burn after your damage, so technically you won't really benefit from it. Even though you're dealing a bunch of AoE, I don't really know. I don't really know.
I want this guy to slowly die because I want my ultimate to continue going. Wow. So I took a uh, 3.6k from the brand because I'm pretty sure it bounced between me and whoever was next to me over and over again and that's all it did the entire fight. So that's what happened there. God, brand damage is so insane. Wait, why did he build this item? He currently gains 18 AD. <laughs> but he he has no HP items besides this. That is uh, very strange. Also, Bork got changed. Look, attacks uh, attacking a champion three times slows them. Like, that's how it was previously. It, man, they just, like, reverted, like, every single item in the game, it feels like. Back to its original state. Back to its original state. Well, at least I have my uh, Zhonya's Hourglass, so... If for some reason the enemy team will finally group against me, I can uh, pop it so I can have everything going off at once. Oh, wow. Holy shit, that damage is insane. What? Oh. Alright, I think Brand is more broken than Swain with this build. Holy crap. I know that I didn't use Anya's, but I mean, I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten one shot by a Brand that fast before, ever, in my life. Like, what, what was that? I have never seen that. That was insane. Well, time for me to TP in. Oh, look. Lily has it. Well, she has the boots that give her movement speed out of combat, but that's it. Like, I don't... I don't think it's very good. Because it's only out of combat. <coughs> that guy's gonna burn to death. Dude, everybody has the burn item. Well, GG. We can probably end the game here. Unsuccessful showcasing the... Item with, like... A five-man team fight, but oh well. I guess maybe they'll respawn if we don't kill their base very fast, though. Or maybe Lilia can die at a brand. <clears throat> I want to... Fight 1v5. I, I will die, almost guaranteed, but I don't care. Yeah, Lily with me now. Where, where is everybody? I didn't have flash, otherwise I really could have went deep. Oh well. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary on uh, me trying out the new item. It did 5,000 damage that uh, game compared to 3.1 on Landry's, which was built later, and 2,000 onto uh, my Malignant. So hopefully you guys uh, understand the changes that are coming out uh, for the next season. Or next, next split, I should say, which is once again in like two to three weeks from now, it should be. And uh, yeah, did the most damage on my team by a bit. The brand did way more damage than me. Maybe I should try out a brand game as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to uh, the next game. I'm playing a brand this time because, I mean, you guys saw last game. I really want to see what it's like to try brand with the that burn item, the Black Fire Torch. So that's what we're going to be going. In fact, dude, I think that... Uh, Brand might have a crazy early game now because this new item, the component, 
is seven damage over three seconds and your passive lasts four seconds so it's seven seconds of seven damage that's that's pretty good damage there i mean <laughs> because it's very easy to land brand abilities onto people so basically you'll always be chunking them so i don't know it just feels like it's going to be insane that's a pretty good trade by him well played that's very clean I mean, I'm still landing on my abilities, though, which feels pretty good. Oh, not very clean in that one. He has no potions left. Oh, that spread to you. He accidentally walked into that. That's not very good. Oh. Oh, you took a turret shot. That's not good. Well, his cleanness is uh, fading away a little bit. It's pretty bad that he uh, messed up and took a turret shot there. Because he is quite low. He's killable. Wukong is here, but I mean... All we can do is get his flash, probably. If I can land full combo at four, maybe he dies. So I, I would have to land literally everything. Oh my god. It's kind of insane that Belveth can do something like that. If you guys didn't know, she almost killed me because she gets that damage reduction. And that damage reduction is actually very effective because it even works against turrets. So she almost just straight up killed me. I know that I'm super low. I'm just going to try to stick around regardless. I know this is this is pretty ballsy to do. I just don't care. He has no flash, so I think that I could probably stay. If anything, I would just die to Belveth coming straight back mid and killing me, I guess. Good stun. <clears throat> nice. Oh man, he panic Windwald too. He's, he's reaching that HP again where maybe a full combo would kill him if I could uh, land every single bit of it. Another good spread on him. Good stun. Let's just go one auto attack to proc red buff on him. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I have my teammates both coming, I guess, so... Oh, there's a Belveth behind me. Just, just W into the brush and you're, you're gonna get him. She should have W'd earlier just to proc the Berserk. <laughs> Even if you don't see anybody, W Berserk will find them if they're in a brush. You just can't see stealth. Oh. Oh. I think I live, fortunately. Kind of annoying, though. I really didn't want to just burn my ultimate for nothing. I still wanted to kill this guy really bad, but oh well. <coughs> it's okay. We will just deal with that. So I'm going to buy the Faded Ashes, and I'm going to buy Boots, and I'm going to buy this. And now, whenever we land any ability on this guy, we're going to be dealing some uh, nice damage to him. Like, trust me, this this sounds so OP. This might even be something that, like, might require Brand to get nerfed. I feel like it is. Maybe I'm just over... Maybe I'm, I'm, like, thinking that it's really OP and it actually isn't, but I just... It has no cooldown. Like, there's a Hextech Alternator, right? A lot of people base right there. Wait, I actually did hit him, but his base still went off. And, but that has a cooldown on it, right? And this has no cooldown, so when I use it, it will automatically always deal the damage. So if I fight somebody and it's like a 10 second combat because I land my E, land Q, land W, 
and then it detonates and then my blaze goes off and when your blaze goes off it reapplies your passive it's gonna be like a solid 12 seconds of it ticking and i just think that's kind of crazy okay wind ball oh my e didn't go off interesting Sixty damage on it so far. I think it's gonna be difficult to kill this guy until I finish uh my full completed item though. Because uh his wind wall should never be used except for like my R and my uh my Q. So really there's no reason why he should ever get stunned. I don't have any mana. Oh, he's dead. It bounced. <laughs> it bounced the entire way, dude. It bounced the entire time. That's funny. Yeah, your your bounce prioritizes things that are already uh, set by your blaze. So because he was already burning, my my bounce will just automatically go back to him. Don't need to worry about uh, missing it because if he's within range, then it will always go back to him. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Maybe maybe it's not as good as I thought. I mean, this is about two hundred damage. Oh, this only does 65. And it's a 40 second cooldown? Yeah, I mean, this item must be better. It's also uh, less expensive, too. Of course, it, it just has the benefit on brand because you have a burn, though. You know? If I didn't have a burn, then it wouldn't be as strong. Why do that? I mean, if I just flash, then I just live. I don't know. I don't think you should ever do that type of play unless you're going to be the person killing. Like, you, you can't commit flash for flash. That's not worth it. You want to use your flash and get the kill. That's a tilter, bro. That that must be so tilting dying that way. He got stunned mid-Q. Or mid-E, I should say. I'm going to save my Q. If Belveth ganks, maybe I can survive. If I stun her. I don't have my item yet, do I? I think I cost 700. Cost 700. Oh, Belvet is top. <laughs> oh no. Dead though. I I'm just gonna sit in base. We'll just do a little bit of a dance while we're waiting. <coughs> Who else would benefit from Blackfire Torch? Malzahar would burn, sure. Hmm. Unfortunately, uh, dealing damage with abilities, it wouldn't be good on Twitch. <laughs> I wish it was, though. You know, maybe it's not bad on Twitch because the thing is that it gives you AP. So if you land a really good hit on people, then the uh, it could be all right. Because Twitch Expunge can hit multiple people. If you hit multiple people, then you get bonus AP. And getting bonus AP is quite effective on Twitch. I'm just going to ulti him for the damage. I think he's actually dead from that, which is kind of insane. I, I'm pretty sure the burn is that strong at this point. Wow, really? He doesn't die? I wonder how low he was. Uh, Okay, maybe that wasn't as close as I thought. If I get knocked up, I don't know if I could outplay because I'll get Yas ultied and then immediately have to somehow uh, <coughs> not use my abilities inside of the wind wall. Let's uh, help out with this.
free kill for us. Also, we get every single grub. Not bad. Oh, wait. Oh, oh shit. Not the fed Garen. No. Oh, big burn. Oh. I mean, I'll just kill this guy probably here. Oh, the FF. I did a pretty crazy combo on that guy. But yeah, so, uh, I mean, despite uh, <coughs> it being that stompy, I kind of just wanted to showcase how strong this could be for the early game. So, sorry that it was so short. That's how a PBE game goes. Uh, the Swain game was pretty long, so just be ready for uh, next patch. Because I think Brand might become S tier just because of this item. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye.